Hi my fabulous people out there, this is a magical reading for you. It's a two week reading and how I work, I use my own intuition with the cards I use. Um, I'll shuffle them for you and then I'll pick out the card what I feel is most relevant for you to help guide you. I am an artist, is my background, so that's how I visually interpret things. And I want to use this like special gift I have to help guide and inspire and advise you on your journey. So I work with the past, um, sorry, the present and the future. So going through the week to hopefully guide you throughout the week. So let's see what we get for you. The cards I use are going to be the Crystal Power Tarot cards. So that is these cards here. Where it shows you the traditional deck, but it uses the chakra colours and what crystal will be most relevant for you and help you as well. And this next deck I'll be using is the Art Oracle deck, where it relates to an artist and then it tells you how to go forward with life, work and inspiration, like how to be inspired. Like I say, I will shuffle the cards and then use my own intuition on how I feel relevant to guide and advise you. And this deck here are colour cards. I've made these myself. As you can see on the back, it's got the chakra colours throughout the human body and the tree of life coming through. I do do artwork as well, like I say. And it's got different colours that will hopefully guide and help you by wearing these colours. It doesn't have to, you can wear them, it doesn't have to be like anything big like a jumper, it could be like socks or a little scrunchie in your hair or anything. And hopefully they will help with being on the same level as the universe and guiding you. So yeah, there are different colours of the chakra colours, so you've got green, yellow, indigo, Violet, red, blue, and orange. So there's seven of them here. Just checking, I haven't lost it. So I'll be picking you out a colour card as well. I've got my crystals right here and um, my light. Uh, so fire as well. So let's get going. Hi, my fabulous Leo the Lion. Hope you're all doing amazing. Let's see what card we get for the next two weeks for you. We can't take all the cards. I want to give you all the advice. <laughs> Let's see what the universe has for you. Oh, wow, that wants to jump out at me. Three of Wands. I have energy. I have the energy to realise my goals. Okay, so you know what you're aiming for, but you're on three. So you've got the energy there, but I need to put it into oh, put it into plan of action. Um, so you've already collected three of these, so you are on the right journey. And like it said, you have the energy there, but you need to yeah, focus on the plan of action of how you're going to get there, rather than just relying on the energy, basically and how you're going to transform into the next step. Because like I said, you've got the energy flowing and that's all linking to it, but you need to now use that energy into a, um, what's the word? In real life, not real life, a practical way. Um, to make it go forward. So let's see what we got for your art oracle deck. Hopefully this will help and guide you a lot further. Okay, so you've got this fabulous artist. So for life. Oh, scandal before stardom. So it might not be that you're doing something scandalous. Um, 
It might be that maybe all the negatives can relate to a positive. Oh, because scandal is like a negative thing. It's something that has happened, and if you know how people say, no, uh, all news is good news, like all media is good media, even if it's negative sometimes, because they feel like it's publicity, don't they? So maybe you can take it as in the negatives of things happening will relate to something later on of being fabulous. So with work, making it look easy is hard. So obviously you feel like at work you run around, or not, yeah, uh, yeah, run around, or you you do so much, you do a lot of things at work, um, but people don't always know how much stuff you do because you do it so well that it looks easy. And if someone else stepped into that role or someone else did your role, then they've realised how difficult it is. But you are so good at that position, you just do it. Inspiration. Make your bathroom humour leave a serious legacy. Okay. So maybe you're a bit of a funny person. Um... Make your bathroom humour leave a serious legacy. Yeah, so... <laughs> make your bathroom humour leave a serious legacy. I don't really know where to go with that one. Maybe you have a certain way of finding things funny. Or something, and that is your quirk. Alright, let's see what we can get for your colour. Orange, a lot of zodiac signs are getting orange at the moment, oh it's good. Uh, so it carries meaning associated with emotions, creativity, sexuality, no, sexually and associated with water and flow. So you want to be very flowing, that relates to that one as well. Um, Symbolises emotion, youth, optimism and enthusiastic. You wear it to a friendly, fun, creative and bubbly vibe. The effects encourages, uplifts, stimulates and communicates. Energy is to take to paint my teeth out. Did not happen there. I hope find it a bit difficult to talk. <laughs> Energy is a sponta spon being spontaneous, sorry, creative, warmth and positive. Uh, the negatives you can come across a bit dominated and superficial. So I always say the positives and the negatives with these cards due to I feel you should. But I always say the positives, to be honest. Yeah, so if you want to be on the right level of these two weeks, remember to wear orange and it'll help guide you. And see you guys later, my fabulous Leo.